Hey guys, so today's video we are going to be talking about the Canucks' 3-1 loss versus the Detroit Red Wings. We lost, I know, but Connor Garland, oh man, what a player. He came over from Arizona, I didn't really know what he was capable of. We did hear that he was really involved in every single game, but this game just showed how much of that was true. He made the Canucks play this game, he made them competitive in this game. He scored the Canucks' only goal, and then, okay, let me talk about that call. Okay, Garland hits a Detroit Red Wing guy in the back. The guy, literally Zadina or something, he reaches in, his face hits Garland's back. Okay, not a call. The refs don't call it at all. Then there's a scrum, and then after that, they say, oh yeah, we're going to review this for a five-minute minor after you didn't even call it on the play. And the guy just ran into Garland's back. It's nothing. And then Garland gets a minor penalty for that. I mean, there's nothing there. It's just the refs were completely against Garland in this game. He got slashed like three different times. No calls. Like, are you serious? The Canucks should have had at least three power plays from all the play and how Garland got into the Detroit Red Wings heads. And Garland's goal at the beginning of the second period to make it 1-1, it, it was a goal scorer's goal, really. He just used his skating, his chemistry with Horvat, and a perfect play shot on a really tough angle, which got the Canucks right back into this game. But pretty much one minute after that, Dickinson takes a penalty and the Detroit Red Wings score, which really, it's not smart by Dickinson. And also, on that goal, on that power play, Highmore, he doesn't have a stick. I was thinking while I was watching this, Highmore, what are you doing there? Go back to the bench, take your stick, and... Come do something, come back and do something because, well, he, he just, he was used as a distraction and as a screen by the Detroit Red Wings. He couldn't do anything else. And that's what made, really, the Detroit Red Wings score on this power play. Also, Pedersen and Hoglander on the first line together, what a fantastic duo. There's still Miller on that line, which still, I didn't like his game like the last game on Friday. I didn't really like his game today. He still just ruined many plays, even on the power play and when we had an empty net he just makes simple plays that sh any NHL hockey player should be able to make he fumbles a puck he gives it away every single time but Pedersen and Hoglander it's it's a great duo because Pedersen you really got the skill not that Hoglander doesn't have any he definitely does but then Hoglander he's really really good on the boards and getting the puck back for Pedersen so I really love this duo and I think the Canucks should really stick with it until Brock Bester can come back into this lineup let's talk about Popo Pot Colson my favorite player in the entire world. He played a really, really good game. I really loved him on that third line with Dickinson and Highmore. I think that's just, uh, that's a very, very fast line. They all have, especially Highmore and Pot Colson, like a dog on the bone mentality. And it, it was really fun to watch. And I have to say that with like, Erickson, Beagle, Roussel gone. This team is so fast. It's so much fun to watch every single shift. It's it's just so much fun. It's so much more fun than last year where everything was slow. But no, with Highmore, who I'm actually starting to really like, and Dickinson and Pot Colson. And also speaking about players that can skate well and go fast, let's talk about Jack Rathbone. This was probably Jack Rathbone's best game with the Canucks. I mean, this kid can skate. Uh, he rivals Quinn Hughes' skating, I think. He can dangle a little more than Quinn Hughes. He doesn't exactly have the level in Quinn Hughes because, well, I mean, not a lot of people do. But I just love what he did in this game. And with two minutes left, he scores that goal. And then there's goaltender interference. And I mean, I don't really know if that was goaltender interference. Kind of looked like Grice came out of the crease and Hoglander, like, touched him in the part that was out of the crease. But I mean, it's probably goaltender interference. But still, what a shot by Jack Rathbone. Also, Hughes, what a player man. Over the offseason, I forgot how well he skates and how well he can control the offensive zone. And when they paired him up with Oliver ekman Larson, that was awesome to watch. Oliver ekman Larson was also paired with Jack Rathbone. And I mean, Oliver ekman Larson, I know we are paying him a lot of money, but he is damn good at getting those pucks from the point to the net. I mean, he does it pretty much every single time without hitting the offending team players that's pressuring him. Also, it was Halak's first game with the Canucks and while in the first two periods, he did struggle a little bit. He didn't seem to be able to catch on to rebounds. They just were going everywhere. But in the third period, he did lock in and I mean, this goaltending duo of Demko and Halak seems very, very strong. Halak is the exact, he, he's a perfect, he's a perfect backup because you know, he's 
he's not going to make any crazy mistakes, even though in this game, his uh, puck handling, uh, yeah, stay in your net, please, because it happened about four times where he just gave the puck away, wasn't great to see. But other than that, I really liked his performance. Overall, I know we lost to the Detroit Red Wings, that isn't great, but really, I love this Canucks team. It, I think... In, in my six years of watching this team, this is the perfect form. This is my favorite form. It's fast. It's energetic. It's fun to watch. And I really think that even though they lost this game, they really, really deserve to win. The shots were something like 41 to 21. So the Canucks absolutely dominated. And they showed their skill and speed. And really, I'm just excited to see this team playing like this going forward. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video.